All right, it's great. We've got uh, Dan today. We're going to do another interview like the one that we did with Ritz. Hello, Dan. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? Yes, I'm doing good, thank you. Good. Um, to begin with, can I get you to introduce yourself? I don't know if you watched the interview with Ritz, but I got him to do what I called a lift introduction. So imagine you've got into a lift with someone, you've never met this person before, you've got a finite amount of time to try and explain who you are. Go. Okay, so uh, I'm Daniel Allen. I'm 18. Um, my hobbies are, uh, I guess, basketball and table tennis. I love playing those kind of sports. Um, I love Jesus. I'm, I'm doing my gap. I'm doing a gap year this year, and I'm uh, mainly involved with the youth work. And it's at St Philip's Church. Woo woo. Um, <laughs> and um, I'm going off to uni next year. There we go. That's, that that would be my little right. introduction. All right. Uh, some quick fire questions, just so people can get an idea of who you are. I'm aware that a lot of the people in the church are going to know you well, but there are going to be some people who have only really experienced St. Phillips for our YouTube channel who might not know who you guys as the ministry team are. So just a bit of a, a bit of a background feel for who you are and what you like. So easy questions. Favourite food? Favourite food? I think it's going to have to be a burger, uh, straight up, just when it's all juicy and everything. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, very good. <laughs> uh, Marmite, love it or hate it? Uh, I'm going to have to love it. Uh, yeah, definitely. So uh, Favourite holiday destination? <laughs> um, my favourite holiday destination? Uh, probably America. My da- seeing my, as my dad's Ameri- American, he uh, takes us out there, see yeah. family a lot, and that's, uh, that's been pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, Illinois, yeah. the, that's so central. Um, but yeah, we've been to Disneyland, which was awesome as well. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dog person or cat person? Uh, oh, I'm not an animal person, so, but if I had to, um, I would go dog. I would go dog. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, run or bike ride? Um, I think a bike ride is a bit more, a bit more. You can have it chilled or you can go hardcore. Whereas if a run. You've got to go hardcore, really. Otherwise, it's pointless. <laughs> uh, chocolate or sweets? I, uh, I would go chocolate. Getting hard now. <laughs> yeah. That's tough. Uh, all right, you have gone to the cinema. Are you going for an action film or a romantic comedy? Uh, I think I'm going to have to go action film. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I would. I'd rather go see something. <laughs> Uh, James Bond. Right. <laughs> okay. uh, all right. Slightly more complicated. If you could meet one of the first disciples right here, right now, who would you want to meet, and why? I guess. Um, probably like Bartholomew, because I don't really know much about him, and I would like to know a bit more, like um, how how he saw how he saw Jesus at work and his his story of it. Nice. All right. Cool. <laughs> all right. On to the main questions then. So, how are you? And your family finding lockdown? Yeah, uh, we're doing all right. I think um, for me personally, um, I would have part-time jobs and as well as working at St Phillips. And uh, I like obviously those jobs have stopped, so I haven't actually been getting up to that much. Um, my my dad is the pastor of a church in uh, Tunbridge Wells, so on Sundays I would help him with his like services. Um, also, me and my dad have done um, some like home workouts which have been pretty good and we've as a family we've got into puzzles recently so we've like tried to keep ourselves ourselves entertained but um yeah I, th- I would say my parents are a lot more busier than i am <laughs> yeah. yeah as the uh, as the youth intern at st phillips how do you find or how have you found that ministry has changed over the past months and within that what are the positives what are the negatives what's uh have you balanced things? Yeah, so um, I guess, yeah, you, if we're looking at youth work specifically, I say that of course, it's just moved, it's moved over to the internet. Um, I would say a positive of that is that um, we, we meet with our youth a lot more regularly. Um, so we are meeting them with them on Thursdays and Sundays, which we, we would probably only see them more once a week uh, other, um, before, before uh, lockdown. So, so that's definitely a positive, being able to engage with our youth a lot more. But um, I guess a negative of that was 
beforehand, we were starting, I, we were going to try to start some mentoring with our young people, uh, I guess some um, in-person interactions as well. Uh, and I guess it would have been nice to use the weather at this time to do some social things as well outside. And it's, it's just, a, it's annoying that we haven't been able to, I guess, get that started or do do any of that really um it's just yeah a bit of a it's a bit of a pause we had to put a pause on those things which um yeah it it, it is what it is but <laughs> I, w- I wish we could do those things definite frustrations there yeah yeah definitely. all right how or what do you feel you're learning or that the lord's teaching you in this period Ooh, um i think uh, as I've been doing that much, I, um, I I tend to play a lot of um, Xbox with my friends, and through through that time, I don't know those conversations. I've kind of I've I've valued in the sense um, that uh, we we've been able to talk a lot more, but also um, I think how am I using my conversations with my friends in to try and I guess encourage them to. Um, I guess look look at faith um look at faith as an option and so um I, I was talking this last sunday and i and one of my friends was quite interested in it and i know i definitely before i probably would have wouldn't have even mentioned the idea of wanting him to uh watch it but i sent him the link and um he was really interested in it afterwards which i know that kind of thing of the power of an invitation is so i know there's, there's so much power in just a simple thing like an invitation um so yeah i think God's been speaking to me like that. And then also um, for me to realise that every, <laughs> and everything that I've got isn't mine in the sense it's his, but he's given it to us and sense of how can we offer up what we've got to him and other people. Um, he, he's definitely challenged me on that. So, yeah, that's, that's probably the two main things uh, that God's been speaking to me about. Awesome. Love that. Um, following on from that, how on a personal level have you found has been what have you found is a good technique for connecting with god how what tips can you give i guess for meeting with god on a personal level um so yeah i think uh halfway through last month um i i started doing i started just reading my bible each morning um which was which has been re- which has been really good and fulfilling. And there's something at the beginning of the gap year I really wanted to get into the rhythm of doing, but um, yeah, it, it just got stopped because I didn't have I just didn't have that discipline to follow through with it. But I think through help with uh, Rich just um, messaged me and was like, "Do you want to try and s- start a daily routine?" And so th- that was that was awesome. I feel like um, that so that that's made a way for me to connect with God. I guess each morning and just praying those things which I've read. Um, and then also for the gap year course I'm doing is called the New One Discipleship Year. And so part of that is I do a placement with St. Phillips, but then part of that is also I do have a teaching day on Wednesdays. And so part of that te- teaching week, um, if this term is all about leadership, but also we've been given a book to read. Um, so the book's called, the book that I'm reading, it's Purpose Driven Life. Um, which has been, and it's been really good at looking at uh, our identity in a sense, and just like what what is our what is our purpose for the kingdom of God. And so I would say those kind of things, and it just uh, it shapes it shapes your day if you do it in the morning um, to to focus on God and just instead of wanting God to I guess put something in your life, I guess look to God look to God to put something in your life in a sense not not just wait on him but to actively seek him yeah um, so, so yeah how has the online no the online how has the new wine course been have they moved to online has it just been lots of zoom meetings or yeah it's been a yeah it's been a lot of well not a lot but it's every wednesday we would have a we have a zoom meeting at like a 9 30 and then they'll go on for three hours which sometimes can be quite um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it hurts a bit mentally especially if they're going for a really deep topic <laughs> at the end but um it, they've been re- they've been really good and um and they've i think this time they've allowed us to have these 
sessions where we just kind of ask whatever questions we have um like like kind of freely um and, and then we just look like specifically at what the bible says it says in regard to those questions um so yeah. i think those have been like, uh, it's just it's just been really uh really good to have those questions answered in a sense uh, which you didn't think could be answered in a sense those really um ethical and philosoph philosophical questions but yeah. um yeah my is i've really enjoyed them um at the same time and we all do like a devotion in the morning like there's th there's three of us in the hub who do it so that's also been good to like connect in a in in like us as us as a gap year kind of team doing yeah. it together do you feel like the year's been good for you yeah de definitely i've um i've definitely enjoyed um experiencing in a different style of church um my my church before uh which which was the one that my um, dad leads at yeah church of christ um it was like it was non it was non-denominational and so coming to a a anglican church was at first it was like really weird like especially the the piece i was like what, what is this? <laughs> i was um i was just i knew i knew you had to shake someone's hand so i did it too early and then everyone was like oh yeah I was like, okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, that, that, that's been some good. But I've also, I think, I've really um, valued having, I guess, a bit more of a bigger church and I guess, um, I guess also a role in, in the church as well. Um, that's been really good as being, just being part of the youth team with you and Morgan as well. That's been really, um, that's been really good. And also I've, throughout the year, I've had part-time jobs, which has been, good in terms of like being able to save up money for for the future which has been awesome um but yeah now i've i know the different opportunities as well although i didn't get to um lockdown did take away some opportunities there was like i was gonna go away to finland and speak at a conference there which was which would have been awesome um also like um different youth events in in town um i was gonna speak at so i, I think the opportunities which i've had as well have been really fulfilling and I've, I've really been uh, blessed with Brilliant. Brilliant. so how long have we got dan at st phillips for now um <laughs> probably until uh sometime in july um uh, it's it seems it, the gap year like kind of uh new wine thing ends like when school ends it was kind of like this goes along with the same time school stuff yeah. uh happens and it was um it would have been a good way to finish off at the new wine summer conference but you can't do that but um yeah the, you've got me till then but i don't know i don't i don't look at it like that i i, I see that i've still got connections for like like the future like for, yeah. forever you know what i mean uh, isn't, i'll definitely be back <laughs> but what is next for dan talk us through what where are you going next what are you doing yeah so um Next year, I will be going off to Nottingham Trent um, to uh, study film, TV, and philosophy, which um, it's a weird mix. Combo. Say that again. An interesting combo. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, I is at at school. I did um, drama, RE, and English, and so I guess it's kind of I've kind of combined <laughs> those <laughs> those things going into uni. Um, so yeah, it's kind of got my. Um, what's the word dramatic side and also my thinking philosoph philosophical side to it as well but um i'm right yeah i'm really i guess really also looking forward to the independence that comes with university um yeah and just that yeah having it like i had a new experience this year of church and uh work i would like to have it i'm looking forward to having a new experience in terms of well, life really, like <laughs> going, going on and seeing the next chapter of how life works. Absolutely. As, as a church, looking ahead, looking to the future for you, is there anything that we can be praying for for you over the coming months and the coming year? Um, or more urgently? I think, <laughs> um, <laughs> more urgently, probably my haircut. That's, <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> I just did say you're going to think about your haircut the entire interview, Dan. <laughs> I know, I'm, so, I'm surprised I haven't mentioned it myself, but I just did. But um, actually, I'll just explain. Basically, my um, my my mum, 
I gave my mum the duty to cut my hair and um, right. you know, it, it was, um, <laughs> it wasn't a duty I should have given her. Um, I, it, I, want, I didn't want it all to be off. That's, that wasn't the aim of the haircut. That, that wasn't um, the main plan, right? No, no, <laughs> definitely not. Um, but I'm afraid it, it, it went, she, she tended to go too high up and so therefore the only option was to shave it all off. Otherwise it would have it looked, looked even worse. So um, I've, got, I've got this look, I've had it before, so I'm not, I'm not too shocked about it. But um, if we're looking at <laughs> things to pray for, I would uh, probably say, <laughs> probably say um, for me to settle into a, a, a church in, uh, in Nottingham where I don't know, I, I really like the role I've had here. So not to have like a similar role, but just, I don't know, to, to feel like I'm, I'm uh, serving the church that I'm at. Um, and not for, not to feel too um, like a, an audience, but to be involved. Um, what else? I think my my back also. I I am um, my brother uh, moved down to Tunbridge Wells. He was living in Greenwich, but I was helping him move some boxes, and I definitely pulled my back. So I think some for some physical healing that would be much appreciated. Um, to uh, yeah, just ha have some healing for my back, but. Um, yeah, and then also, I, I know, not to get too, I think it's all things to do with uni really as well, just uh, not to get too, um, what's the word, sidetracked by um, the, the things that come up with uni, such as like the, the alcohol and like the partying and stuff, like to try and st stay on the right kind of path, but also not to engage with other people, not to distance myself just because of that stuff, to, to find a good medium. Yeah, um, that balance. Yeah, balance. That's it. So, um, yeah, the, the, those would probably be the main things. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you, Dan, for catching up. It's been good, and we will talk to you soon. Have a good thank one. You. You're awesome. See ya. Bye.